Hello everybody, welcome to Forest Hill in sunny South East London. Now, today's tour, it's something a bit different from the uh, previous video on my channel. We've moved away from Georgian glamour into gritty industrial property over here in Havelock Walk, uh, which is a very well-known creative street, largely down to the efforts of Jeff Lowe, who some of you may have watched my previous videos will know is the owner of the Lime Works in Faversham, where I'll be going back to for a full tour in summer. Now, uh, we'll get into more of the history and the detail as we're wandering around, uh, but if you're a creative of any description really, I hope this tour will be of some inspiration. Um, it offers a chance to live and to work from the privacy of your own home and studio. So to get us started, here are the basic details you need to know. We've got up to three bedrooms, we've got a ground floor studio space with a kitchen, uh, it's a freehold and it's over, there's over 2,000 square feet and the asking price is 1.25 million. So with that all out of the way, let's go and kick off outside and we'll go for a wander. Right then, here we go. This is the outside of the building and this is the house in question, which is part of this uh, bigger building here, which apparently used to be a blacksmith's workshop. The whole ground floor was a blacksmith's workshop. I believe it's Victorian. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. It may be Edwardian, but uh, perhaps somebody who is a bit more informed could let me, in the, let me know in the comments section below. But anyway, it's a lovely looking building and it's a really quiet street. And as we turn around, you get a real, you get to the sense of the real mixed bag of property styles that have been added over the years here. Nice cobblestoned road as we head down to the house here. And that is the end of the road which takes you out onto the, the high street where you've got the shops and the Sainsbury's and turn left to the station. So there we go. That is the, uh, that's the outside. Let's go and head inside now and have a, have a mooch about. Right into the lobby. Now, as you walk into the lobby here, you've got the, the stairwell up to the residential accommodation above, but for now, I'm gonna start us off in the main studio. It's a great room. Ceiling height here is fabulous. I would say it's gotta be up to 15, 16 feet in the main, uh, in the main floor area here. That's, a, that's just a really nice studio, really, comfortable and because it was refurbished only a few years ago brand newly refurbished you get the benefit of all of this joinery the desk space it's ready to move straight into yeah you're going to want to do a little bit of decorating and maybe give it your own personal touches but it's a very solid space to use for your own purposes and these ceiling lights are lovely these big pendants up here on the hanging down and if you were thinking about doing larger, or oh, sorry, if you're a sculptor or you're a painter, you might deal with bigger canvases or bigger prints or whatever, you have got the opportunity here to get stuff straight out onto the street, nice and straightforward, nice and easy. And if you really wanted to, you could open those up entirely to the top. Um, and, or if you were thinking about buying something as an investment and renting out this floor independently and keeping upstairs to live in, this could be very, this would be a very desirable commercial rental and uh, self-contained. So we've got a kitchen area out the back here. It's a really nice kitchen actually. Still in, in pretty good order. Just needs a bit of tidying up again like the, the, the rest of the studio but got a boiling tap there. Space for washing machine, dishwasher and space for a freestanding fridge freezer in there. But we've got two loos here. Now this one, the extractor fan's a bit noisy, so I'm gonna get out of here quickly. But there's one loo here, and another one here. And then as we pop our way around this little office area here, again, lots of storage, really neat, well thought out. We've got these stairs up to the mezzanine level and it's super bright up here sun coming in just on time and more much more usable square footage now i'm 511 this is ceiling height in here or head height in here is excellent so no problems with this section at all and then just here we drop down two steps. This is another 
very usable mezzanine level. Now, my head is probably about an inch from the ceiling. So yeah, a 511 is still a usable space. You could have desks along here or just a good bit of storage entirely up to you. But the whole thing is really well thought out and executed. And then you've got some of the nice touches like these, these pillars, these uh, columns that have been added. And I know for a fact that they were salvaged from somewhere in Portugal. A job lot was purchased and added. Clearly they're not going to be original to the old Victorian building, but they look the part nonetheless. Right, that is the ground floor. Let's head upstairs. Big staircase, wooden stairs, painted brickwork. And then first floor where we've got views over the back that has shattered and it will be replaced that's already been organized all the windows in the upper floor on the upper floors are double glazed now this is I'm going to call it bedroom number one really good size and then you've got this room here which overlooks Havelock Walk which would be a nice dressing room or a home study whatever you prefer but Nicely panelled or half panelled walls in here. The joinery and the attention to the to detail actually is really, really high. It's, um, it's a really nicely put together. There was no expense spared on these. Now, hallway to another bedroom. Again, I mean, look at these these uh, window sills and the window surrounds you know that's there's real thoughts gone into this wardrobes there and then more wardrobes here and this room also has a shower and suite which is a like a Jack and Jill affair because you can access it from the hallway and just to the end of this hallway here is a guest or just a, another loo. Okay. Now we have one more flight of stairs which takes us up to the top floor. Now this is where it gets interesting. So this was used as a bedroom. Personally, for me, if you were going to be using this as a self-contained home, studio, live, work space. This actually makes more sense to turn it into a really nice open plan living room. So you've got the eaved ceilings up here, dormers everywhere. It's a really bright room. Double glazed windows as with low at the lower floor. Great views, really quiet up here and the reason I say this could work well as a living room or an open plan research room is because you've got power, water and drainage up here. So it wouldn't take a huge amount of effort to turn this into a, you know, a kitchen, open plan kitchen living space. And again, as with some of the floors below, this nice bespoke joinery that's been added. So you'd end up with a completely self-contained commercial unit on the ground floor, two bedrooms and a bathroom on the first floor and then this nice big open plan reception on the upper floor. Okay, thank you very much for joining me over here today at this rather large, rather lovely, I hope you agree, live work studio for sale for 1.25 million. Now, what can I tell you about Forest Hill? It's a lovely place to live. It's very, uh, it's very quiet. It's very green actually, and we are very well connected. You've got Forest Hill Station basically is on your doorstep, just out of Havelock Walk and turn left, and it's there. Uh, train services to central London, and you've also got the Overline, which gets you through from here to East London and then further on into North London. So you're really well connected. Some great shops. There's some fantastic pubs, great coffee shops, 
and there's a nice big Sainsbury's just around the corner on High Street as well, which you can where you can see from the the top floor as you look out the uh, the top floor window. So it's got a lot going for it, and it's I've got the advantage of having worked here when I was uh, well many many decades ago now when I used to work for an estate agency around the corner on the High Street. So I, I know it very well. It is a, it's a lovely place, a lovely part, and it was I'd, I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for a space like this, obviously. So that's it. Um, that takes care of the tour. Please drop me a comment or a line below. If you'd like to know more details about the property, uh, you can contact me directly. Simon.stone at uniquepropertycompany.co.uk is my email address or via the website uniquepropertycompany.co.uk. So that takes care of everything for now. Uh, everything for now. Uh, thanks again for joining me and I'll see you and look forward to seeing you on the next tour.